Hi everyone, it's Chris from Red Bloom and I am popping on to wish you a happy new year. This is the last afternoon of 2019 and I hope that this year is coming to a close peacefully um, and on a positive note for each and every one of you. I also want to wish you well in the year to come. 2020 can bring many changes if we choose. I hope that all of your intentions and all of your aspirations and dreams come true um, and I also hope that we get to experience that together. I can't wait to grow and connect with each and every one of you even further in the year to come. Um, I am out of town right now visiting family. I'm having a blast. I miss you all, but it's nice to be away and um, enjoy my family for a little bit of time. Sounds like you are all having a blast at Red Bloom. I've been talking to teachers. I've been watching the classes build, and it's been great to see everyone connecting. We have one more opportunity for 2019 for you to connect with each other on the mat. It's at 1130 this evening. Erin uh, is leaving, leading a New Year's Eve practice. It will be fun. It will be playful. It will be um, just a great way to connect, to set intentions, and um, to ring in the new year. If you're looking for a place to celebrate uh, mindfully, safely, um, in a community that's fully accepting, looking for a place just to be um, together with others, like-minded individuals, to be mindful, um, join us. It's donation-based. You don't even need a class pass. Come on in. Erin um, has a great plan. I'm excited. I wish I could be there. Um, I can't wait to hear all about it. I also wanted to talk a little bit about what 2020 will bring to Red Bloom. Um, we love to play games at Red Bloom, don't we? And so I have yet another game, quote unquote, to play. Um, this one is what I'm calling an intention manifestation. Um, I kind of called it a challenge at first, but it's not really, I don't want to use the word challenge. Um, when we set intentions, um, that is a positive direction that we choose to take with our lives, as opposed to New Year's resolutions. Resolutions are more goal oriented and often they set us up for failure. So for example, if we set a goal, a resolution to, um, I don't know, to come to yoga five times a week. And then all of a sudden we don't come to yoga five times a week. Well, then we failed and we don't have to do it at all anymore or we feel like we can't do it anymore because we didn't do that one determined action. Whereas instead, um, an intention could be something like being more mindful, um, spending more time on my yoga mat. So that way there's fluidity and there's room for change and shift and growing and rest at the same time. Um, and there's it's always positive. There's always evolution and change. And so it doesn't set us up for failure. It, it sets us up for directionality and guidance in the direction that we want to head. Um, so, that being said, I have created a little sheet um, for us to set our intentions together. You will see these at Red Bloom tomorrow, and um, this is for the entire month of January. This is our intention manifestation. I'm changing that word from challenge to manifestation. We will make our intentions happen. We will use them to change the world and change ourselves together. Um, so. This is unique. Usually, like with bingo, we have, I say different things I want everyone to try and different challenges I want you to meet, things like that. Well, this is completely for you to decide. So you set your intention um, with us at Red Bloom, whether it is practicing more, whether it is trying new classes, whether it is um, finding more breath work, whether it is whatever you want it to be. It can be specific, like I'm going to practice three times a week or something to that effect, or I'm going to try a more difficult class, or I'm going to take a class that maybe challenges me a little bit more, or find a teacher that um, I'm not as familiar with, things like that. It can be anything you want it to be. Um, and then just write it down. So what is your intention for 2020? And we'll begin January with setting our intentions. After that, um, we just ask, how are you're going to keep track of it. We will take these and hold on to them just like we do our bingo cards and everything and we'll help you keep track of your intentions throughout the year or throughout January. Um, so all it is is just your intention, how you want to kind of keep track of it, how you want to look at it and know if you are still headed in the right direction. How do you want to check in? That's a good way to think about it. And then each week we have four weeks. This first the end of this week is included in week one, which is next week. Um, and there's just space to write notes. And so there's not even boxes to check. There's not even anything um, that you need to X or do anything specifically. It's really just how, it, I wanted it to be very free form. 
how are you going to check in with that intention each week? Are you succeeding and accomplishing that intention each week? And then uh, we always have bonus items. And this is the fun part because this is me kind of um, do, I am pushing you just a little bit just to kind of see um, how you feel about things. And uh, each week we'll have different bonus items. And uh, this is also in a desire to grow our community um, and to connect people even more uh, than just when we practice on the mat. Um, so each week has different bonus items. Now, the cool part about this is, again, with intentions, there's no failure. You are always successful to some extent to on your intentions, even if you're just thinking about it. And even if you're just starting to prepare, we're still successful at it. There's no failure when we do intentions. And so um, this is the same way. Every time you check in, every time you are guided by your intentions, each week you are successful at checking in with your intentions, then you will um, use that and we'll keep track of it. Each week gives you 10% off a purchase in February for class passes. Each bonus item, each week of bonus items, you have to do both of them, you have three options, you need to do two of the three, gives you an additional 5% off. So you have the opportunity to earn 60% off a single purchase in February if you keep track of it. And again, there's no failure. You can choose to do as much or as little as you want. Um, you can choose to work towards a larger discount on a class pass at Red Bloom in February if you'd like, or you can just um, encourage others. It's up to you. There's no failure at this at all. And I really love that about this manifestation this month. And together we get to work with each other um, building our intentions. Um, so check that out starting tomorrow. Our teachers will have it. Our front desk work exchangers will have it as well. Um, ask questions. I'll have it printed out on how it all works. And um, we'll go from there. So uh, manifest those intentions. Start to think about what you want to do with your life, with yourself, with your world in 2020. And I can't wait to see what you all come up with. Um, the other thing I wanted to just touch base with you quickly about is all of our new classes that we are offering in 2020. So uh, we are offering just Breathe, which is our meditation and pranayama class. We're doing that online. Um, a lot of people love that class and a lot of people um, pop in here and there, but it's difficult for them to get to Red Bloom. And it's going to be about 15, 20 minutes. It's still going to be Wednesday morning. I'm going to do a live uh feed. I'm not sure what platform I'm going to use yet, but I'm going to be live Wednesday morning for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then I'll go up to our YouTube channel. Um, did you know that we have a YouTube channel? Check us out. It's Red Bloom Yoga on YouTube. So all of the Just Breathe, all the pranayama and all the meditation, the guided meditation that I do weekly after it's done being live, will go up to our YouTube channel. So you can find all of that there. Um, and access that. That's something new we're doing in 2020. And we are also in adding a Wednesday morning 8 a.m. class, a sunrise vinyasa with Carlin. It's a great flow, get you warm, get you ready. We are also adding a beginner Ashtanga class with Aaron Tuesday at 8. That is going to be fantastic. Don't worry if you've never done Ashtanga. Many of us have never done Ashtanga. That's why it's a beginner Ashtanga class. You can come. Erin will walk us through what Ashtanga even means, how that practice is different from any practice we've done before, um, and we will start to build that into our bodies together. Um, the other thing I wanted to just remind you about is that we are keeping all of our other regular classes like our 101, our Yoga 101, which has been a weekly class on Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. Any class pass, you can pop in. It's a workshop style class. Um, we used to do foundation series and they're so limiting. We have to cram all this information into four or six weeks. Um, we have a wait list. We always had a wait list whenever we did them. And so not everyone got to participate. And so I transitioned that into a regular weekly class. So you can join us anytime on Sundays at 6 p.m. Your first class is still free. Um, maybe that's your first class. That's a great way to start. And um, each week has a different topic. Each week has a different approach, um, a different uh, practice. It's not even really a full flow. It's a workshop style. So I encourage you to check that out as well if you're just beginning and looking for a place to start. Um, we are excited to welcome you to our community. So I think that's all I have to talk about right now. Um, you know me, I like to talk about all the great things at Red Bloom. Um, I hope that you all have a wonderful holiday. I miss you all, but I'm having a 
thoroughly good time with my family out of town um, and I'm excited to get back in practice with you and I wish you the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of this community and supporting the small business through the almost four years now that we have been together. It means so much to me and each one of you are a vital part of my heart and I hold you all very near and dear. So thank you and have a wonderful day and a happy new year. Namaste.